I started teaching uh, because I moved back, I moved like to the state of Rio de Janeiro and I didn't have a job and uh, my coach helped me uh, to teach at the uh, marine schools for lieutenants. So that's where I started teaching Jiu Jitsu and why. I started training because back in the day in Brazil I used to get beat up in school, I used to get bullied in school, you know, and my dad decided to bring me to train Jiu Jitsu at his school. I like to teach because I can see the, like passing the knowledge and see the students progressing. I think that like, makes me happy and make me enjoy. That's the way why I like it. I started training at Ronan because at the time I had been training in another gym and they basically dissolved. Um, it was kind of twofold. So the gym that I was training at kind of, kind of dissolved. Uh, the instructor kind of flaked out. And also I'd heard about this gym and all the people that I'd started training Jiu Jitsu with were also training in this gym. For my students, mostly like not just like of being champions, but to be champions in life. And then see they developing skills and getting better, be successful in life, not just only jujitsu, right? Despite of like what happened in jujitsu, I think I would be more happy than uh, more happy of having them become good humans and good adults. <laughs> So I train with Vitor because first and foremost, he's a, a very high level competitor. Um, probably one of the highest level competitors in the Midwest in general, right? Um, and the gym is super close to my house and the training here is, is uh, top notch. Um, I don't think there's any better training in this area, that's why. My previous instructor was Adilson Jorge de Lima. So he's from, he, he used to run the club of Jiu Jitsu Pitbull. So Pitbull Jiu Jitsu Club. Now he lives in Abu Dhabi. So I remember this technique. This is a this is kind of a funny story. So I was a, I believe I was a white belt, maybe a blue belt. I think I was a white belt. And uh, Vitor had showed this series of uh, half guard, deep half guard. It was a particular sweep, and uh, um, it was a waiter sweep. And the next 
the next day I was sparring with a, a, a guy and Vitor had, had left the gym or at least had left the room and while he was gone I hit this sweep for the first time and I was really excited. So Vitor comes back in after this, this training session and I was so excited that I had hit this sweep that he showed uh, the day before. <laughs> I went up to Vitor and I said, hey, hey Vitor I hit that waiter sweep. And the guy I was training with, he was a purple belt at the time, and he said, Hey, Vitor, I hit the waiter sweep. <laughs> he mocked me, made me feel like an idiot. It was pretty funny. <laughs> you said white belt. What belt are you now? I'm a black belt now. Under who? Under Vitor Oliveira. Uh, all my belts are under white to black under Vitor. I believe the adrenaline, I like the adrenaline, and I was like, I think I was a natural competitor. So I have been competing since I was eight, so I think the adrenaline of like getting in the first, the highest uh, uh, position on the podium. My favorite technique I would have to say is probably half guard or deep half guard. I used to compete quite a bit uh, up until brown belt. I competed quite a bit less at brown belt. I have, not, I have yet to compete at black belt. The first thing you tell somebody when they start Jesus should be patient because it's not like uh, riding a bicycle. It's like it's a lot of things to learn, and be patient, uh, be confident. You know, so for me, doing that uh, opened my eyes to apply some of those skills in in my personal life, right? So that makes me not go to the wrong path, like kept me healthy, kept me around good people, you know. Through Jiu Jitsu I met a lot of good people. I made a lot of networks, you know, good networks, you know, keep me out of trouble. I think that one of the things that Jiu Jitsu has made the impact on my, in my life. <laughs>